My name is Zuning Hyu. I am an assistant professor at the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy, and I'm a recipient of the 2024 Pharma Foundation Faculty Starter Grant in Drug Delivery. I had a taste of research when I was an undergraduate student in pharmacy school in the National University of Singapore. So I had the chance to work in different lab and one of the lab I worked in was focused on pharmaceutical technology research. And so in that lab, they had plenty of equipment that formulation scientists and pharmaceutical scientists typically use in their research in pharmaceutical technology. And I was really interested in learning about those. And so I decided to go to grad school to to, to further study on pharmaceutical technology. The funding that we receive from the Pharma Foundation will allow my research group to further our research on the development of opacifiers for pharmaceutical use. The word opacifier comes from the word opaque, which is not transparent. So the role of an opacifier is to make something not transparent, make something more opaque. And for pharmaceutical, use, it is important that we have an opacifier because we want to protect our drug product from the impact of light, which may shorten the shelf life of our product. So the main reason why we are interested in developing a new opacifier or improved opacifier is because the, the opacifier that is the most commonly used in pharmaceutical products today, titanium dioxide, there has been some concerns surrounding its continued use. And if we do not have a good opacifier to replace titanium dioxide, should there be a ban on its continued use, what is going to happen is that we may run into a situation where we could potentially be looking at drug product shortage or even complete withdrawal from the market. And this could potentially then affect patients' access to potentially life-saving treatments. The funding that I receive from the Pharma Foundation is the first external funding that I receive in my current job as an assistant professor here at the University of Iowa College of Pharmacy. I am really thrilled by the support from the foundation and I believe that the preliminary data that we generate using the funding that we acquire from the foundation will be extremely useful as I work towards applying for other federal grants, for example, the NSF Career or NIH grant funding. I think one of the cool things about being a researcher is the ability to talk with people who are equally interested in the research that you do, but may not have, but beyond that may not have any other similarity with you. So one of the things that I have learned is that in meetings, you know, people who speak even different languages, they can come together and just talk about science together. And they are really passionate about the science. And I think it is these kind of meetings with people telling me and reinforcing to me that the work that I'm doing has an actual impact to patients that is really neat. And it's what motivates me and keeps me going as a researcher. So I think having a network of people around you who are your advocates, I think that is very, very important. And this network of supporters are can, can be a variety of people. They have to be your mentors. Your mentors can be people who are senior to you, for example, your advisor, your postdoc supervisor, your thesis uh, major professor. And then at the same time, you also should have people who are your peers who are able to support you as well. The reason I chose to become a faculty is because I personally enjoy research very much and I also enjoy sharing my knowledge very much through teaching. So in the longer run, I see myself as a scholar teacher where I want to be successful with my research program and I also want to be an excellent teacher to educate the next generation of pharmacists and pharmaceutical scientists.